What is the difference between a cryptocurrency and a token? Hang on, aren't they the same thing? I hear you ask. Well, I don't blame you for asking because they're really almost the same in terms of how you use them. The difference is technical. Let's dive in. Digital assets are assets that can be traded and stored in digital formats. Blockchain support cryptocurrencies and tokens, which are both digital assets. So what's the difference? Can a single person or group control it? No, both are decentralized. They are both used as a way to store and exchange value. Trades for both are authorized using digital signatures on transactions. So far, both cryptocurrencies and tokens are the same. Let's find out what the main difference is. The logic for cryptocurrencies is built into the blockchain itself. However, in the case of tokens, their logic is programmable in smart contracts deployed to the blockchain. The main difference, therefore, is in whether the transfers are built in or customizable. So why is this distinction important? If you're a developer building fintech, having programmable money is an exciting option to have available. If you're interacting with tokens, there are some practical reasons to be aware of the difference. They both have to do with something called gas. Gas fees are also referred to as transaction fees. When transferring tokens, the gas fees are higher compared to the gas fees when transferring cryptocurrencies. When transferring tokens, the gas fees are paid for in cryptocurrency, so you'll need both of them. So that's it, how cryptocurrencies and tokens are similar and how they are different. Let's wrap up with some examples. The Bitcoin blockchain only has cryptocurrency as it does not support smart contracts. The RSK blockchain has smart Bitcoin as its cryptocurrency, plus RIF, Solve, and other tokens. The Ethereum blockchain has Ether as its cryptocurrency, plus DAI, LINK, and other tokens. Well, that's it. The world of blockchain can sometimes have a lot of confusing terminology, so we hope that this has cleared up one small but commonly confused part of it. If this was interesting, be sure to check out an article on developers.rsk.co that goes into this in much more detail.